All right, folks, you know, according to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, there are over 420,000 children in foster care. That's a big number. Uh, one of my guests just helped lower that number. Uh, when my next guest learned that one of her students was being put back into foster care, she took matters into her own hands and made her student her son. And here... Here to tell us more, please welcome Dr. Benny and Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, how you doing, man? Doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> well, uh, listen, you've been in foster care since you were nine years old. Tell me how difficult that's been for you. It's been, it's been really hard. Um, I've been in, what, four, four different foster homes since from nine years old to 15. And even before that, I've been tossed and turned between my grandmother and my biological mother. So it's been up and down really hard. And, and how old are you now? 16. 16. OK, you ended up in trouble uh, <laughs> at your foster home. What happened? I was in school, hanging out, hanging out with the wrong crowd, got, got in trouble. Got sent to the uh, alternative school where I met my mom. <laughs> 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 at first, I was like, why am I here? This, this is not me. I don't deserve to be here. But it turned out to be a great thing while I was there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dr. Benny, let yes, me sir. ask you this. What, what did you think of Anthony when you first met him? Well, actually, Anthony was one of the model students. He was an ideal student. He tried hard to please me, all the other staff. He, he worked really hard at uh, being a good kid. Uh, so that's why when I found out, I was, He's about to age out and go to a group home. Something had to be done. So, Anthony, you asked something special of your teacher, Dr. Benny. What was that? I just flat out said it. <laughs> I'm like, would you adopt me? <laughs> <laughs> at first, we were, um, me and a couple other kids, students, were at a, around her desk talking, and, you know, just talking about, oh, you can take me home, or you can take me home. And I was like, no, no, you can take me home, like, for real, for real. Like, I'm, see, I'm serious, you can take me home. And um, she was like, I'm sure your parents are doing the best that they can do. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm actually a foster kid. I've been in foster care for ever since I was nine years old. I just <laughs> gave her the whole tea. So after that, she was like, OK, well, <laughs> if you finish this assignment, <laughs> then we'll talk about it. That was one of the most fastest assignments <laughs> I ever done in my life. <laughs> so, so the next day, uh, that's when the process started. And everything since then, it's been nothing but God. So. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Benny, how, how did you feel when Anthony asked you to adopt him? Well, it. At first, when he asked me, I was, no, I gave him my spiel that I give all the kids when they say, oh, take me home, take care of me, you know, treat your parents the way you treat me and everything will be okay at home. So then he explained it to me and I said, okay, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, it was something that he, when he was leaving, because he got out of our, our school, our school is only for so many days. I got out on good behavior. And he got on, a good, on good behavior. So he was leaving and when he was leaving, he said, don't forget to pursue it. And I said, I will. Um, and then um, he said, uh, make sure you do it. And I said, <laughs> I said, I promise you, I said, and just remember, I'll always be here. So I just kind of left it at that because the only thing I knew about adoption was what I had seen on TV. And I didn't think that I could. But then I got a response from the information I put in the system. And I was like, OK, well, maybe I, maybe I can do this. <laughs> I was shocked. I was shocked that they even responded to my request. Wow. <laughs> did, you have, did you have kids already of your own? No, I, but I, I have tons of godchildren. I, I've helped, take, helped my friends take care of their kids for years. So, Anthony, you <laughs> spent your first few holidays as a family. How'd, how'd that feel for you? It, it feels amazing. Just to have the, the love and support, someone to talk to. Someone to argue with. <laughs> someone to argue with. <laughs> so there's someone I can just share my heart with, my love with. 
So oh. it, it, it's great. Let me say this. This type of admiration <laughs> and respect from a young male to a female mm -hmm. that's not his mother, that's, you got something really Thank special you. there. Thank you. Thank you. You know something? Uh, we think your story is absolutely amazing. So we want to uh, send you guys on a six-night, seven-day family trip to the Grand at Moon Palace in Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> yeah, you finna be ballin', boy. You going to Cancun. You gotta experience... Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You gotta experience all the cool and luxury accommodations. Nine outdoor swimming pools. We got an elaborate beach club. We got a water park. We got a six-lane bowling alley. We got 17 food and beverage outlet. This trip is valued at over $10,000. We wish you the best of luck and enjoy your first family vacation on us. We'll be right back, folks. Hey.